All right. Despite the slump in the housing market, many parts of the Bay Area seem to be holding steady. And nowhere is that more apparent than in San Francisco, where condo construction is booming. Hank Plant is here with that story. Hank? Well, Dana, the numbers tell it all. From 2005 until 2015, 10 years, the Bay Area is going to add over 600,000 new residents. Half of them, almost 300,000, will land in San Francisco. With San Francisco's population projected to hit 823,000 before 2015, where will they live? There's nowhere to go but up. And that's why the city is a sea of cranes and new high-rise condos. Reporter J.K. Deneen tracks growth for the San Francisco Business Times. There are approximately 54,000 uh, condo units in the pipeline. That's an amazing number. Yeah, about 6,000 of those are currently under construction. That's 54,000 new condos coming, now in various stages of development, scattered all over the city, especially south of Market and along the waterfront. In fact, one quarter of the city's available land is part of a new booming zoning plan just approved by the Planning Commission. So where are the people going? Well, places like the Infinity, the double towers at Folsom and Spear. 230 condos have sold out of the 365 available in the first tower. They start at 600000 but for a drop-dead view like this two-bedroom, two-bath unit on the 34th floor, it would cost you $1.8 Who's buying? Empty nesters like Barbara and Ed Doherty, who sold their house in Hillsborough. We moved here from, uh, we have a, this will be a part-time residence for us. We will be here and also in San Diego. What do you like about living down here? The convenience. We walked everything. We use our car twice a week, maybe to go to Trader Joe's or Costco, and walk it's it's a very simple wonderful style of living ellen mark's company has marketed many downtown condo buildings including the infinity his typical buyer is an empty nester uh, basically their kids are out of the house so uh w they usually work either down the peninsula or up in san francisco they may have a social life up here but their children have moved out, have gone to college, maybe moved off. The interesting thing is um, these buyers often tell us they do not want a place big enough for their children to stay with them. <laughs> they can stay with them for a weekend or a week, but not moving in. And what appeals to people in downtown San Francisco is also appealing to people in downtown Oakland and downtown San Jose. That's in Oakland, in San Francisco, wherever there is good public transit and amenities. People want restaurants, they want museums, they want parks, they want to be able to walk put their kids in the stroller, walk to a park, have lunch at a restaurant, and walk home without getting in their car. Sure is a reversal from our parents' generation moving out to the burbs, isn't it? Absolutely, but our parents are moving downtown, too. All right, now the bottom line, price. Data Quick Information Systems says sales of new homes in San Francisco, mostly condos because that's the only new stuff being built, jumped almost 19% in the past year, but prices have dropped. 32 percent. The median price is now 399,000. Again, we're just talking condos. So, Dana, we may be in a window of opportunity right now for condo buyers. We're just amazing in this climate. All right, Hank, thank you.